Despite the name Solfeggetto, this piece is more than a Solfeggetto. It's a very beautiful piece from which we can learn so many things. Let's discover it with me today. Welcome to this new video, I'm Riccardo Samusicus Practicus and today I want to analyze with you this Solfeggetto by Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. Of course, Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach learned from, a, learned from a very important teacher, J.S. Bach, the man, <laughs> this one. So, there are many beautiful things in this Solfeggetto which are very, very useful and important for us to learn and for you to master in your, uh, and to apply in your compositions or improvisations. Now, first of all, before analyzing this from an harmonical, compositional and rhetorical point of view, let's listen to it and how it sounds. <laughs> start our analysis. Now, as you know, at the beginning of a piece we have the exordium. The exordium is the beginning, so it has to confirm the key, it has to give and to set the elements that will be developed through all the speech. And what are these elements? These elements are the arpeggio and this figure in particular. Ascending Ascending, ascending, descending, ascending, and then along the descending scale. As you can see, we have arpeggio, little scale, arpeggio, little scale, arpeggio, long scale. And our arriving point is always on E. e. the harmonic foundation of this part is nothing more than these notes 3-5 first degree, fifth degree, first degree, fifth degree 5 natural 5 and natural this, that one Which is then repeated another time. So, as we said, exordium, exordium, and in the exordium we have this pattern, which actually is five one five one five. You can say re, re mi fa if you like. You can individuate the re mi fa. Re, re, Sol, Fa, Mi, Fa, 
if you like to have a structure but more easily 3-5, three 3-5, five, three five, dominant tonic, dominant tonic 1-5, one 1-5 five, one five. Do, Re, Mi or better, Re, Mi, Fa which is the minor version if you want to learn how it works just see it in Departimento method TPM stage 6.6 .6, exactly Departimento method is the system which helps musicians to ha which has some with, who have something to say to freely express themselves with the magical historical method of Partimenti find it in the description you can find it in the description just create your free account because you can start for free and if you like you can see all the curriculum you can see uh, all the content there there are available for you it's a very big course i can say i could say the biggest course at the world for learning partimento more than a university course because this is very wide 1000 videos a lot and then if you like continue with the complete path but beside that let's continue the analysis so repeated one another time pom, pom, an octave higher so five natural five natural this way and after this we have the second phrase which is the the second phase yes which is the narratio about the disposition of the rhetorical uh, speech of the of rhetoric the disposition so the order of the rhetorical speech there's another playlist here uh, now in 20 april 2024 it's not complete yet you can find it in the description of this video or on, um, among the playlist of this channel or on partimento.blog the narratio is the continuation of the speech where you start telling a story and so it's made up of 3-5 for of a sequence in this case we have the queen fold queen fold with which takes us to the dominant and it's very common in the narratio to open to the sixth, in this case changing to the fifth degree. And this kind of a narratio features the queen fold with 7777. Seven, seven, seven. The queen fold is another very important pattern. You can learn in departmental metal stage 3. Point four exactly and also eight point something <laughs> I think eight point one then we have two three four eight point four yes painful TPM this way T P M tuck very good and what are the structural notes let's identify them we have this one Party start now. What's the harmony? This, three, five, so three. We can also consider the seventh like an appoggiatura, Fala, more than a seventh chord in this case. Yes, that's better because it's on the very last, the seventh. So the queen fold is basically only consonant analysis. So now three, then three, three, and here five six, three five six. So just three in like three five. 
five six, but mm, passing tone in the bass. But let's write five six. Did I say five, uh, five six? And of course, I'm wrong. I want to say three four six, two four six. I mean, two four six, of course, because it's like in the Romanesque Scala San Martini, where you have this, like in Frat Nutteru. So 3 5 and then 2 4 6 in passing tone. 5 6 7th, then 7th with a sharp. Sharp this way. And then a new, a new part starting, which is the proposizio. Making music alone can be boring, doing together with other friends can be a lot of fun. Many musician friends from all over the world are waiting to meet you on our server Discord. A totally free community where you can share your works, exchange your thoughts, learn and help other musicians like yourself. We can't wait to meet you too! Join our Discord server now! Click on this link, verify your account and say hello to your new friends! The propositio is the center um, of the musical speech, rhetorical musical speech, and we have all the elements of the, the, the central part of the, all the discord. And so we can find the beginning, but transposed to the beginning pattern, but we transpose to G minor to continue the argument of the speech. <laughs> Nothing more than the beginning, so not necessary to write anything else. And now, in this point, it's very interesting the pattern, which is a descending scale. La, sol, fa, la, fa, mi, la. from G to F. And how can we set this into a sequence? The sequence in this point is 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-5, 2-4-6, 3-
and it is made up of la, la sol fa mi re la la sol fa mi re this helps to come back a fifth down and then the same thing here la sol la sol fa mi re helps you to come to move to the fourth degree which is f minor for another exposition which in my opinion belongs to the these two belong to the proposition, proposition, and I'll tell you uh, why right now. Because the proposition finishes here, where the confutatio begins. That's you. this point. Perfect. So we have the descending pentachord, the first descending pentachord, followed by, followed by the second descending pentachord, and this note, this chord C minor, belongs to both. This is the end of the descending pentachord, of the first descending pentachord and the beginning of the second descending pentachord so we have descending pentachord and the descending pentachord is a very 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 important pattern in this style you can learn in departimento method so TPM Stage five point so uh, not five point one two three four five six five point six departmental method link in the description create your free account you just need an email address join it and if you like continue la sol fa mi re la sol fa mi re and here another descending pentachord. And the figuration in the left hand are arpeggios. but in F minor, fourth degree. And then we stop on this harmony with this fall up to the this degree which is the Neapolitan sixth of C minor. La, uh, which is la, fa, la, sol, la before the cadence so we have the confutatio in this point and what are the opposite elements of the confutatio first of all we have this unexpected gravatages but another thing which is more important for me in my opinion is the presence of rest from the beginning up to the end the piece doesn't stop that's a continuous it's a continuous um, continuous motion of 16th note but here after and then this cadence which helps you to arrive to the confirmatio in order then to Come back to C minor. So, confutatio. And the harmony, so first of all, the bass is Fa, La, So, Sol, La, Sol, La, La, Re. And the harmony is 3-5 so 3-5 4-6 diminished 7th 
diminish seventh. Another very important thing you can learn in the Partimento method, TPM. 8.10, an entire chapter dedicated to the diminished seventh, and then... This... Which is the Cadward cadence. The Cadward cadence is the cadence featuring a descending scale of an octave, or at least also a seventh, but here we have the octave. Very common in this style, has a, an important flourishment, fioritura. This way. So, Cadworth cadence, Cadworth. Of course, the main point, the main refreshment of this Gala Schematis is uh, Gerdinger's book, Music in the Gala Sky, in the Gala Style, and in the Pertinent Method, there's a playlist, chapter zero, with all the refreshment, and of course, the Cadworth cadence. We call it Cadworth cadence because Gerdingen called it this way, we can also call it uh, Pinocchio Cadence, you know, <laughs> is the concept. Giovanni Cadence or uh, Marco Cadence, but the concept is that the descending fioritura of an octave or also seven sometimes is very common in this style. Now, uh, you can learn this. If you want also to practice with some exercises like Partimentini written to master the Cadwell Cadence Departimento Method, stage um, 7.2. I remember it. 7.2. Wonderful. And then we have the Confirmatio, where we confirm the key. <laughs> The most important thing of the confirmatio is that we arrive to the fifth degree, which is G, fifth degree of C major, and this is the scale, the standing scale, which helps you to arrive. to the fifth degree, like the ponte, but here the pattern is not a ponte, like, this is fa re, like the descending pentacord, but evaded. Chromatic windfall. Chromatic windfall, very suggestive. Chromatic windfall you can learn in the Partimento Method stage. What is it here? Chromatic windfall. Eight point eight point ten. No, eight point four. In the chapter, in the stage about the windfall, you can see, and you can practice with exercises about the. Chromatic queen four. Very good. Here we have the last part of the descending pentacord, like the roof of the octave. So basically, fa mi re, as you can see, fa mi re, fa mi fa, and la sol fa at the top. La at the top, sol. Belin here, La, Sol, Fa, and then thanks to the sharp, you start the chromatic queenful. Fa, Fa, La, La, Mi, Mi, La, 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 Sol, La, Sol, Fa, and at the end the Proposition, which many times is nothing more than the repetition of the exordium. Matheson says this. Watch the playlist about the um, 
about the about re rhetoric in music, especially in preludes, because this is a prelude. The structure is the prelude. Uh, these elements are very common in the prelude, so we can say that it's a prelude. And the final part, the proposizione, the peroratio, peroratio, many times, very often, is the exordium, repeated one another time to confirm the thesis we expressed at the beginning. So. <laughs> And instead of something more conclusive, which is, first of all, it could also be like this. Why not? It could be. I don't know why the addition of this part. We don't have any refreshment here, but if you like, why not? Why not? La famire, la famire, la famire, la famire, la famire. Stop. Finishing. Ta 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 ta. Tom. This way. The peronazio is like the beginning. So we have, in general, this subject repeated in so C minor, then G minor, and then F minor, and then again C minor. Very interesting. So as you can see, in a very simple piece like this, there are so many elements which are very useful and important for understanding and playing this better and also for learning how to compose music in this style. Now, what to do? What do you have to do? You can download this PDF, this analysis, on Patreon. So with a little membership, depending on what you want to... Uh, what level you choose, you can have the access to a lot a big amount of resources for fanatic musici pratici like us and like you. Then, in um, for learning all these patterns, there's a free ebook you can download. You can find a link in the description. It's the link to join the Partimento Method. The Partimento Method is a course you can join for free. You can start for free, so you can receive an email with the ebook, free ebook. And you have chapter 0, 1 and 2 totally free and three stages of the following chapter so that you can see if you like it and if you like it you can continue and learn particularly with all these beautiful videos, exercises, say and play, uh, partimentini, durante, ferroli and a lot of things I can't explain to you. Just go and watch. You can watch for free. And then Start it, start the complete journey if you like, and beside that, see you, of course, here another day for another video. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. In many religious traditions, God gave man the power to name. Name things, name animals, name your peers. With words, you can destroy and you can create. With words, you can hurt and you can comfort. With words, you can manipulate reality or describe it as best you can. One of the most powerful exercises you can do to compose your own music is to say what you play. You can say the intervals you play. You can say the letters you play. You can say the solmization syllables you play. This is exactly what you will do in the say and play exercises in the Partimento method. With the powerful say and play exercises, playing various patterns such as Romanesca, Tide Bass, Windfall, will be like recalling magical powerful spells. You think of the pattern, you say it, and the magic is done. Let there be third and sixth, and there was third and sixth.